a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another day where we are going to grow together. Yeah. I thank you so much for being a part of Inspired by Comfort. This is something that I cannot take for granted and I will not stop thanking you, thanking you for waking up with me. Now I have received messages from people that say I make their day, that I inspire them to push through the day. I do not take that for granted. Thank you so much. But one thing that I would love you to do for me is do not watch this alone. Let a friend know that we have Inspired by Comfort every 7.30 a.m. right here on Hope Channel, Monday to Friday. So today I want us to look at uh, forgiveness. Yeah, Let, I want us to look at compassion. But while we are looking at compassion, I want it to be on a self, yeah, on an individual basis. How many times have you found yourself forgiving others? Yeah, How many times have you found yourself, you know, extending compassion to, and, to, and to others? Like someone is going through a situation and or maybe someone has done something to you and you are moved with compassion. You're like, oh, Bambi, I don't know why this person did the BCD, but you extend grace to them. You give them a benefit of the doubt. And some of us even forgive people that have not asked us to forgive them. But today I want us to look at yourself, at ourselves. How many times have you forgiven yourself for when you have done something that is contrary to what you expected to do? Or when you have done something that in the long run backfires? How many of us have forgiven ourselves? How many of us have extended compassion unto ourselves? Yeah. Remember that but, uh, as Christians, we need to know that uh, we need to do unto others as we want it to be done unto us. The Bible even talks about that, yeah? But in most cases, we forgive other people and we do not forgive ourselves. I think that is one of the most difficult situations that we find ourselves in as Christians. So today I just want to talk about self-compassion, yeah? I know there are moments when we do things that we are not proud of. We do things that we didn't expect we would do, but maybe out of anger, out of emotions, we find ourselves doing things that are outside of our beliefs, outside of our values. And at times, these, you know, um, inflict direct pain on us or inflict pain onto other people. Uh, today, I just want to speak to someone that is holding themselves captive of something that they did maybe in the past, maybe... Um, you did something yesterday, maybe last week, maybe last year, last month, I do not know. But you are being eaten up by guilt. You feel you cannot do this anymore. You feel it is better for you to just, you know, um, continue hurting yourself. And you feel maybe you do not deserve good because you did something at one time. T. I know of individuals that feel like, you know what, God, I do not deserve your grace anymore because I am the worst sinner there is. But the Bible tells that God is just and fair, always ready to forgive us. Yeah, God is more than ready to forgive us. All we have to do is to be able to confess of our sins, you know, and he will definitely forgive us. That's the same thing with you. I am not saying that you should be proud of the negative that you did. But what I am saying is try to extend grace to yourself. Do not be so hard on yourself. Yeah. Do not beat up yourself because you failed, failed an examination. Do not beat at, uh, up yourself because you failed, you know, uh, a relationship. Do not beat up yourself because of where you are at the moment. Maybe because someone inflicted pain on you and you let them inflict the pain on you. Rather, what I am saying is acknowledge that, yes, what I did was wrong, but then go ahead and forgive yourself. Tell yourself, you know what, I did this because I didn't know any better, but now I know better. Take, for instance, myself. I keep saying this right here that I am not the person uh, that I was some time back. He, last year, last month, every day I see that I become the best version as a sister, as a friend, as an employee, as a wife, as a mother. I try to see that I am a better person. Along the way, I make mistakes. Along the way, I have made mistakes. But I have come to terms with that. I sit down and say, you know what, Comfort, this is not what you expected to happen. This is not what you had envisioned would happen. But now that it has happened, what are you going to do about it? So I forgive myself. I seek forgiveness from those that I have offended in case it is external. And then I extend grace to myself and move better. Now, extending grace to myself means, mo move, being moved with compassion towards myself means I acknowledge that this has been wrong. And then I'm, and there are certain situations that really we cannot change, yeah? That we cannot change no matter what. Like you have done that, there's nothing you're going to do about it. But what you can do about it actually is you changing your behavior. You making a decision that I'm not going to do that again. That is what actually counts. That is what really, really counts. And that is what I want to share with you today. That yes, what you've done in the past is in the past. 
you cannot go back to the past to relieve it. But what you can do is to say that you do not repeat what you did in the past, is to see that you move past what happened in the past, is to see that you extend compassion, you extend grace towards yourself. If God is really ready to forgive you, if God is more than available to forgive you, to always listen to you, pour out your heart to him, who are you not to forgive yourself now? You not forgiving yourself, you not extending compassion to yourself is going to affect you in so many ways. There are people that will tell you, you know what, I don't deserve to be in marriage because of something maybe you did in your past relationship. Some of us will feel like, you know what, I don't deserve to be a mother because of something that you did in your past. Some of you will, th will feel like, you know what, I do not deserve a promotion because of something that you did in the past. Some of you will feel like, you know what, I do not deserve, I do not qualify to start my own company because of something that you did in the past. Yeah, but I just want to tell you that it is very possible for you as an individual to actually be better than you were. And what makes you better is not actually perfection. What makes you better is not the fact that you have never done anything wrong. Because the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ did not come to condemn us, but he came to save us. Yeah. So how do you expect Jesus Christ would save you without sin? I'm not saying sin is good, but I'm saying we need to acknowledge that sin is part of us. Now, when we acknowledge that sin is part of us, that some of the things we do are part of us, we, fi you know, we find ways to say that we get out of those. We find ways so that we do not actually do those. Because when you know that sin is a part of us, you get to know what exactly is sin, and then you try to desist that sin. Now, you do not desist it in your making, but you do so through the power that Christ gives you. Because Philippians 4.13 tells tells us that I can do all things through Christ that gives me the strength, yeah? So you need to treat yourself with a lot of compassion. You need to, you know, move with a lot of compassion towards yourself. As you extend grace to other people, extend grace to yourself. Accept that you are a human being. You are not perfect. You are bound to make mistakes. You are vulnerable. Accept it. Because it is only then that you are going to find a solution. It is only then that you are going to be happy. It is only then that you as an individual will be at a better place. So work on that. Today I just want to, t to tell you to be compassionate with yourself. Do not beat up yourself. Do not be too hard on yourself. Pat yourself at the back. Say, you know what, comfort? You did this. It is not right. Let us do better. Do not inflict pain on yourself because you did something. I, you know, some of the things that we, we are inflicting pain on ourselves for are mistakes. At times, mistakes are part of life. A mistake ceases to be a mistake when you repeatedly do something. But if you've done it the first time, I mean, we make mistakes. As comfort, I have made mistakes in my past, in my relationships with, you know, friends, even at home, among my siblings. I have stepped on their toes, but along the way, you know, I used to beat up myself for that. I used to be like, you know what, I don't deserve to be loved. I don't deserve to be among people. But I learned that, yes, those were mistakes that I made because I knew less. But now that I know better, I'm not going to repeat the same mistakes. Now that I know better, I'm going to be intentional about my walk with Christ. I'm going to be more intentional about my relationship with others. I'm going to be more intentional about my work because now I know better. Because I know better, so I extend grace to myself. And you know, even when the world does not extend grace to me, I extend it to myself. So while the world is beating me up, while the world is criticizing me, I am patting myself on the back and saying, Comfort, you have done this, you are not going to undo it, but just do better. If it means apologizing, apologize to those that you need to apologize to. If it is confession, confess to the Lord. Repent. And move forward. Move forward in a better way. Do not live in the past, but move forward in a better way. Until tomorrow, thank you so much for being a part of today's um, program. Let us meet tomorrow when we will still talk about anything that is going to inspire you to say that you become the best version of yourself. My name is Comfort. You can call me the Growth Guru. Good morning and a lovely day to you.